Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm Tammy, and today I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious, absolutely crunchy on the outside, moist on the inside, buttermilk chicken, guys. Yes, this fried chicken, when I say it's good, it is good with every single bite, guys, yes. So without further ado, let's introduce these ingredients and get started. Right here, guys, we have our chicken, as you can see. I also have my buttermilk. Wouldn't be buttermilk chicken without the buttermilk on deck, right? I also have some salt, as well as garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, Creole seasoning, cayenne pepper, as well as white ground pepper and poultry seasoning. We got all the seasonings, and yes, as you can see, I don't have it in measuring cups and none of that stuff because guess what, guys? We're about to season this chicken to our own discretion. Yes, season your chicken as, as, as they say, season to taste, all right? However, for those of you who may have a little skepticism, you're not sure, no problem. Check out the recipe card. I got you. I got full details, recipe measurements, and all that stuff. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get this chicken seasoned. All right, to start, what I did was I got a whole chicken cut it up guys so yeah I have 10 pieces of chicken in here and you're probably like 10 pieces of chicken what you talking about a chicken comes with eight pieces well your girl went as far as even saving the chicken back what and I cut it in half so yeah we got 10 pieces up in this bowl right here nothing goes to waste all right so anyway we are gonna take our salt and we're not gonna over salt because remember we're using Creole seasoning Creole seasoning does consist of salt already so we are gonna add enough to season our 10 pieces of chicken. <laughs> that should be good. Put that right here. We're gonna add some garlic powder. Garlic powder. Yep. Put that right here too. You know what? I'll put it back right here. Yeah, I'll put it back right there. We're gonna add some onion powder. Mm-hmm. And we are gonna add some smoked paprika, not too much. And we are gonna add a little Creole seasoning. Cause remember we got a sufficient amount of chicken pieces up in this bowl. And we're gonna add some cayenne pepper. I'm gonna go easy with the cayenne because it's spicy. So we're not gonna add too much. Just enough to give it some flavor. And we got some white ground pepper. Got the white pepper on Zach. And we got some poultry seasoning, which we're gonna add. And to this, I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil because I wanna go up in there and I wanna rub it up and I wanna massage it and make sure everything is coated. And the oil is gonna help the seasoning to be distributed a little easily onto the chicken. Mm-hmm. I got my gloves on today, guys. I came prepared. I actually wanted to come on here with the clear gloves, but I got to take what I get. <laughs> Believe it or not, those things are sold out. Sold out. So, it's one or two things. I come up here and give you guys a delicious, crispy, crunchy, moist fried chicken recipe with these gloves on. Or... I don't do the recipe because I ain't got no gloves. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Either way, even if I had to use my hands without gloves, trust me, this fried chicken recipe was going to be going down. We want to massage every bit of flavor into the chicken, guys. Because what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is, <laughs> you just got to laugh, you just got to be happy. We are going to... And make sure you leave the skin on because when you fry it, the skin is going to lock in the moisture and it's going to be nice and crispy. And the inside is going to be nice and moist. Look at the chicken back right here. What? What you talking about? <laughs> and we got the chicken breast. Believe it or not, this chicken was so easy to cut up. Once your knife is sharp, it's really, really simple. Yep. And believe it or not, this whole chicken was about ten dollars. Ten buckaroos. So not bad at all. All right, I'm gonna take these gloves off. And what I am going to do is I'm gonna add the buttermilk. And we are just going to add until the chicken pieces are submerged. Submerged. 
Mm -hmm. I would say about three and a half cups because this is a container that consists of four cups. So, so far I used about three and a half cups, but like I said, measurements and all that stuff will be provided for you. Give it a good mix. Make sure the buttermilk is covering everything from top to bottom. <laughs> from top to bottom. Get that off my shirt. This is gonna be so, so mouth-watering. So, 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 so mouth-watering. All right, that's it. What I am gonna do now is I am gonna cover it with some saran wrap or some foil paper, and I'm gonna put it into the refrigerator and allow it to marinate overnight. You heard me correctly, overnight. However, if you don't have that luxury of that time and you wanna season your chicken and fry it the same day, at least give it about four hours. So if you wanna fry this by lunchtime, I would say marinate this by 8 a.m., so by 12, if you eat lunch at 12 or whatever, you know, everything will be ready and set to go. But I am gonna do this, uh, put this in the refrigerator and allow it to sit overnight because I want the best flavor in my chicken. I want my chicken to be saucy. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the morning and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. I am back in the building and as you guys can see, we have our chicken. And our chicken, by the way, was soaking overnight, guys, in the buttermilk. And I can only imagine. I can't wait to, like, literally fry this chicken up. I know it's going to be so delicious. Anyway, what we do have is our chicken, like I said, out of the buttermilk, sitting on a cooling rack because I want to get that excess buttermilk to drain off. And I also have some all-purpose flour as well as some eggs. And I have these seasonings right here. As you can see, I have salt, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, smoked paprika, as well as some ground black pepper. <laughs> ground black pepper and what we're gonna do is we're gonna season our flour and this I mean you really don't need measurements guys for this part because guess what you're gonna season to your liking but as I mentioned earlier in the other clip I'm still gonna provide some type of uh, measurement instructions for those who may be a little bit skeptical as far as how much to use but yes yeah, so this is what we're gonna do so far we're gonna add all of the seasonings to the flour we gotta season the flour so that way our chicken is nice and tasty you don't want to have nice seasoning on the inside and you bite on the outside and you have that nice crust and it's nice and crispy, but it's no flavor. That's going to be not good at all. Make sure you take your time, combine the seasoning with the flour, get all the, you know, seasoning at the bottom. Give it a good mix. You guys don't know how much I wanted to eat that chicken last night. Like, honestly, I wanted to like literally just, just let it marinate for about four hours and fry a couple pieces. But I was like, nah, you got to be a good girl. You can't do that. You got to let it soak overnight because guess what? If you do it, if you soak it overnight, it's going to be even better. So here we are. This is done. And I have my eggs right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some hot sauce to the eggs. Just a couple, maybe about two tablespoons of hot sauce. And we are gonna beat these eggs and combine the hot sauce with the eggs. Alrighty, we are done. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take these delicious pieces of chicken and we're gonna add it to the flour, coat it really well. Make sure it's coated really good. You could use your hands for this if you want to, it's totally up to you. Get that flour on there. Ah, I'm making a mess. <laughs> and we're gonna take it, we're gonna add it to the egg wash. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is coated properly. And we are gonna put it back into the flour, guys. This chicken is gonna be something else. We're gonna put it right back into the flour. Just like this. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's coated properly. All the little crevices and stuff. 
All right, our first piece is done and we are gonna put it into our hot oil and we are gonna deep fry these bad boys, honestly. Now here's the thing guys, when you're deep frying, as I always say, be careful because you don't wanna have too much oil, you don't want your oil to be uh, too much in the pan, so when you add your contents, then it's gonna overflow and then the oil is gonna get into the fire and that's gonna be problematic. So try to measure it out carefully. Don't add too much oil. Add just enough so you could deep fry or find a deep enough pan or pot where you could deep fry without having to add too much oil that's gonna cause a problem. All right, piece number two goes right into the egg wash. The same way as we did the first piece. Make sure it's coated. And we're gonna take it out and we're gonna place it back into the flour. Who we'll say that frying chicken wasn't messy, right? <laughs> gonna put this right here for a second. And I'm gonna get in there with my hands, guys. All right, we're gonna add the second piece. And pretty much you get the gist, guys. Just add the chicken into the seasoned flour. And then into the eggs. And then back into the flour. I can't wait to sink my teeth into like the first piece. What's you guys' favorite piece of chicken? I know for me, it's definitely the breast and the wing. Yes, guys, the breast and the wing. I like the thigh piece like when I'm doing like stew chicken and stuff like that or a chicken with some type of sauce. I appreciate the thigh at that part. But yeah, I'm a big fanatic when it comes to the wings and the breast. Just like that, get those hands dirty. <laughs> Just gonna set it to the side of the bowl, move on, keep it moving. And that's pretty much it, guys. For now, we're gonna make sure everything is coated and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna allow these to cook, or should I say fr deep fry on medium high heat. We're not gonna do high heat, we're not gonna do low heat because you don't wanna steam your chicken in oil if you do low heat. And we're not gonna do high heat because we want our chicken to cook all the way through. If you cook your chicken on high heat, what's gonna happen is you're gonna fry the outside and when you bite into it, it's not gonna be good. It's, it's not gonna be cooked is what I'm trying to say. So therefore, medium high so that way there's a balance. That way everything gets cooked thoroughly. So when you bite into it, you won't get no big surprises. All right, so I'm gonna allow this chicken to, like I said, fry on medium high heat. And in the meanwhile, I am gonna continue to dredge these chicken pieces in flour and egg wash and so on and so forth <laughs> and i'll get right back to you guys i see you in a little bit our delicious fried chicken is fresh out of the deep fryer and look at how beautiful nice and crispy on the outside i can oh trust me i know the inside is going to be nice and tender without further ado let's jump right in <laughs> This is absolutely everything that I imagine, plus more. We got flavor on the inside, we got flavor on the outside, we got the crispy coating on the outside. I know you hear that crunch. Mm -hmm. Everything that fried chicken is supposed to be. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this is good, guys. This is absolutely delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You know what I'm loving the most about this chicken? It's the flavor. The flavor and the texture. Even though we have that crispy coating, the meat is so nice and moist. The coating is somewhat 
I don't want to say moist because it's crunchy, but it's so like it's more like melt in your mouth. That's everything is so delicious. It's like I said, it's like melt in your mouth delicious. And I know it's because we had soaked it in buttermilk overnight. That definitely made the that definitely made the ultimate difference, guys. That buttermilk overnight. Wow. Anyway, guys, give this recipe a try. Cooking with Tammy. That recipe is full recipe details will be there. Mm. Just print it on out. And if you don't believe me, make this recipe. And I guarantee you're gonna be like, oh my god, Tammy was so correct. Mm -mm -mm. This is so delicious. Anyway, as always, I will catch you later in another video, guys. Bye, guys.